settle down all nice and warm in your very own bed and just close your eyes. Take a deep breath in through your nose and slowly and gently breathe out through your mouth. Again, breathe in through your nose and slowly and gently out through your mouth. One more time, breathe in and slowly and gently breathe out through your mouth. Now today, I'm going to tell you a story. A story about a young reindeer who became the leader of all the reindeer who pulled Santa's sleigh. It was two days until Christmas Eve and Santa was going through his list of toys for all of the children everywhere. It was snowing, but it was beautiful. Everywhere was white, so clean, so bright. Now Santa called out to Rudolph, but he got no answer. He wondered where he was. So he called him again, and then he remembered. Rudolph was packing his case because he was retiring from pulling the sleigh because Rudolph had done this for many, many years. Santa was going to be very sad to see him go, but he knew that Rudolph deserved to be in a warm sunshine, having lazy days ahead. So Santa, being the kind man that he was, bought him a ticket to travel to a tropical island where he could do whatever he wanted to do from now on. No more pulling a heavy sleigh. No more keeping the other reindeer in line. Just sun, sea and sandy days ahead. Santa had even bought Rudolph some new sunglasses and sun cream for his shiny nose so it wouldn't get sunburnt. But Santa still knew he needed to find someone. Someone new to take over from Rudolph. So he decided to run a talent show to find that special new reindeer, the one who would be Rudolph's successor. The talent show is called The North Pole's Got Talent. Wow. Santa was absolutely thrilled with this idea because it was Mrs. Claus who thought of it. The show's panel would consist of Mrs. Claus, of course, Head Elf, Bernard Evergreen, and Rudolph himself. But the final say would always be with Santa himself. And the show was to begin in an hour's time. Santa was very excited. Unsure, but very excited. The show was finally starting and the judges were in place. And one by one, the other reindeer took their place on the stage. The stage was brightly lit with lots of colourful Christmas lights and lots of lovely twinkling gold dust floating gently through the air. Oh, it was such a beautiful sight. After seeing the seventh reindeer do a song and a dance very badly, I might add, because this reindeer, who was called Jack, really couldn't sing in tune. And neither could he dance, because he really did have two left feet, which made it very hard for him to walk straight, let alone dance. Santa sighed. They only had one more reindeer to see. And he wasn't holding out much hope, because unfortunately, as wonderful as they were, None of them were really up to the job, and it was a hard job. Santa was just hoping that this last one would be the one. The final reindeer entered the stage and began to tap dance, and at the same time was playing the bagpipes. Oh dear, what a racket the bagpipes made. 
Sam had to put his fingers in his ears to try and drown out the sound, but unfortunately it didn't work. When the reindeer finished his dancing and bagpipe playing, they all clapped. After all, he did try his very, very best. Santa sighed again. He spoke with the panel of judges and said, What are we to do? We only have today and tomorrow to find a replacement for Rudolph. What are we to do? The competition was now over, but they had still not found anyone. Santa stepped up on the stage and he asked if there was anyone else who would like to come up and try. He really, really hoped there would be. It was then that another young reindeer held up a hand and said, My friend can sing. She has a very beautiful voice and she is very strong. She can pull your sleigh for you. Santa said, Well, why not? We have no one else. Now the young reindeer looked very shocked. She's only seven years old. She's very quiet and very shy. And she has had a bit of a hard life because she lived in the reindeer orphanage along with her friend who had put a hand up. They didn't have any parents and not very many friends because they were both shy. So sometimes they got a bit lonely, but they did have each other. Her name was Angel. And she is like an angel too. She is very serene and very loving. She is very beautiful, but she doesn't think that she is. And she has no idea how wonderful her singing voice is. It's a voice that makes everyone feel happy and want to sing along too. It's her special skill, even though she doesn't know it. It's a voice that brings peace to everyone that hears it. So slowly, she climbs up the steps and onto the stage. And she stands next to Santa and smiles shyly at him, looking as if she was about to run away. Santa tells her it's okay, and she just sing a song. Santa leaves the stage, and Angel is left on her own. She is very nervous and she's trembling a little bit. She moves up to the microphone and looks out into the audience. And all she can see is many faces just looking back at her, waiting for her to sing. Slowly, she begins to sing, but her voice is a bit quivery at first because she's so scared. But she looks at Santa's face and into his very kind eyes and he gives her the confidence because she knows he is willing her to do her best. As she sings, Angel's voice becomes stronger and louder and the sweet melodies become so very clear and everyone begins to listen intently. As she sings, all the reindeer become silent and she can see in their eyes how much they love her voice. It makes them feel so safe. It makes them feel so very loved. It makes them feel so very happy. So happy, in fact, that they begin to sing with her. And she is overjoyed by this. When Angel finishes his song the crowd of reindeer let out a roar of approval they love what she sings they love her angel is so moved by this tears spring into her eyes but she is so very very happy santa comes back onto the stage and gives her a great big hug the kind of hug that only santa can give he announces that Angel is the winner of the competition and Angel will take over from Rudolph and lead the other reindeer on Christmas Eve. The following day, it is Christmas Eve and the reindeer are all ready to go, all ready to pull a sleigh for Santa. 
Santa does his final check and then he calls out all of their names. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer, now Vixen. On Comet, on Cupid, on Donner, on Blitzen. The name he saves to last is Angel. And Santa says, Come on, Angel, show me what you can do. She gives him a big grin and begins to move forward, followed by the other reindeer. As she builds up speed, she and they begin to rise up into the clear night sky. And the moon shines brightly and lights their way. Rudolph, who is down below with his suitcase and his ticket to a tropical island, is so very, very proud of her. He's so proud to have her as his successor, and he smiles happily. He waves goodbye to them all, and then goes off to the sun for a well-earned rest. But you, though, you feel very peaceful now, tucked up in your own bed. And now it's time for you to sleep. And you feel so very relaxed, ever so happy. You just want to go to sleep and dream of your happy Christmas. And if you listen really hard, maybe, just maybe, you can hear the tinkle of the sleigh bells. You might look out the window, you might see Angel for yourself. But for now, good night, sleep tight. We wish you a very happy Christmas and a fabulous new year. All our love, Leslie and Tony at New Horizon.
Thank you.